Hey everybody, it's Topwater Johnny, and in this fishing video, I'll be fishing with the Topwater lure called the D-Style Reserve. Let's check it out. Whoa, there we go. Yeah! Woo, holy cow, folks. Topwater Johnny here, man. This is what we came here for. Look at that. Get back here. That's the kind of beast that we came here for. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny. Look at that beast right there, baby. I think I won the tournament with that one right there. I am the one with this one. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. I want to welcome you to the next video here. And in this video, I'm really excited about this video and really share with you how unique this video is but first just so those out there would know this is the week of my birthday so I'm very excited to be able to be producing these videos this week and sharing with you my joy of topwater fishing here I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do as kind of a birthday promotion special for all my subscribers I'm gonna figure something out this week or next and then I'll let everyone know I want to do something special, some kind of giveaway or do something just to say thank you to everyone. So I haven't figured it all out yet, but once I figure that out, then I will definitely let all of my subscribers know. But for right now, what we're going to look at is the D-Style Reserve, everybody. The D-Style Reserve. This is a talk water walking bait right here. And a lot of people have never really seen this one before here. So that's why I'm going to show it to you so that you can get a closer look at it and how it is actually designed here. And what we're going to do is, as always, we're going to do a closer look at it. So I'm going to put the camera down. We're going to get a really close look at it. And I'll give you kind of the dimensions of it, give you the specs on it. And then I'll come back after that and give you my final thoughts before we get it started with the fishing session. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the D-Style Reserve Walking Bait. All right. Okay, here is our closer look at the D-Style Reserve Walking Bait here. It is actually two and three quarters inches long. It weighs about a quarter of an ounce. It actually has the hook on the front here. There's a size eight treble hook, fine hook that's on the front of it here. Got a trailer hook on the back of it. It's got those 3D eyes right there. And as you can see right here, it's got the unique plastic little arms here. They're actually part of the walking process here. So it, it walks. This actual lure lays side down on the water. In other words, it doesn't stay up vertical like this. It lays sideways in the water so that that eye is looking down on those fish because it's supposed to mimic a actual injured or fleeing fish. So those are some of the things about this lure that I wanted to share so that you could take a closer look at it. And as you can see here, lots of great detail in this particular lure. This one is called the Spawn Gill. That's the one that I actually selected for my purchase. So anyway, just wanted to give everybody a closer look. Okay. Okay, we're back. And that was our closer look at the D-Style reserve walking bait wanted to give you a closer look at it here and now i just want to talk about it here for a moment kind of get into this a little bit moment here as you can see right here there's the d style and when it sits on the water it lays on the water flat like this right here so it's going to lay flat and as it lays flat it kind of and you reel it in and it's going to be having this clear little walking motion right here back and forth back and forth back and forth as it walks and flutters and it's designed to be a actual fleeing bait fish or a struggling bait fish on the top of the water. But what I found fishing it is that it also looks like a dragonfly that's mimicking on top of the water that it's struggling or some kind of insect struggling to get across the water. And so it will attract fish, whether small or large. Also, this is a Japanese lure. And I want to make sure that I don't miss out on anything here. One thing to remember is that this particular lure requires a different kind of gear setup. And what do I mean by that? In the video you're going to watch, I'm fishing with a bait caster 
and it the, and the rod is actually a 7-4 rod and a bait caster initially. And it was a little difficult to fish with that. So I switched to a 7-foot spinning setup with 8-pound braid, and I was hooking it directly to the end of it here, right? I tied directly onto the lure, and that actually allowed this to be a much more effective lure. You can throw it on braid, and you'll see me catch fish with it on braid and a bait caster. But I found it to be a lot easier to throw when I put it on that spinning tackle as well. Also, something else to note here, the D style. When you look at this one here, when you look at mine here, you notice that there is a feather treble hook in the back. That is a modification that I made because initially this comes with just a feather tail in the back, no hook. I modified this because of short strikes. And I saw that the fish were coming up and it wasn't, I wasn't locking them down consistent enough. So I figured, man, I'm going to take that feather off and add a little light spinner, like a really light hook on the back. So I took a hook off of a inline spinner and I attached it on here with a feather to improve my odds. And it really did help me a lot. So the reason I'm showing you that is because if you look over here to the side, there should be a picture of what the actual D style looks like when you buy it. So I want to make sure you see what it looks like when you buy it because I made a modification and if you ever decide to get one, you'll be like, well, why did Johnny's have the, the little feather in the back and mine doesn't? Because I made a modification to it. Also, as of this recording, Tackle White Warehouse is selling it for $24.99. So for those out there watching the video, that might be a little pricey for you. So once again, it's all about not buying the most expensive lures, but if you want to grow, you want to try something different, and you say, hey, you know, I want to do something special for myself, then maybe you want to make that investment in this lure. I'm not telling you you have to, but for me, I'm always trying to find the right lure to fit the right situation. And sometimes that's a more expensive lure. Sometimes it's a, more, it's a cheaper lure. But I'm always trying to figure that out right there. So I just want to tell you kind of what the price is so that you can make up your own mind if you want to invest in it. But I will tell you, this lure will cast far on eight pound braid and on a spinning setup. And it just has great movement, great action. And I definitely would highly recommend those that are interested to get one because you will have a lot of fun. This will catch little bass, big bass, and all kind of game fish in between because all fish that are game fish chase smaller fry and chase smaller bait. And so this is that kind of lure that really does mimic that. Also, finally, as you can see, it has those 3D eyes looking down on that fish. And so I got the actually what's called the spawn gill. That's the one that I selected this time, the spawn gill. So the pattern is great, and I think it's an awesome lure. Once again, I just wanted to give you my insights. Now we're going to get out on the lake, and you'll see me fishing with it, and you're going to see some nice catches. You know, I really put it to work. Had a lot of fun out there fishing it. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. But first, be sure to subscribe to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you've never seen me before and you're watching it for the first time, subscribe to the channel because I'm always trying to drop those top water fishing experiences. Because a lot of times out here, a lot of people don't do top water all the time. But I'm trying to do it as much and as often as I can to give you something new and different to watch. So once again, subscribe to the channel. And always remember that phrase, keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. Enjoy the rest of the video. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Everybody. All right. There we go. Woo. Look at that. We got it that time. Look at that. On the D style, the D style reserve, we got one. All right. As you can see, hook tight. 
hooked in that D style right there, man. So we got one right there. All right. All right, everybody, it's Todd Water Johnny here, and we got our we got our bass on that D style reserve. He hit that top water, so that was a good one right there. So no complaints with that one. All right then. There we go. There we go, everybody. On the D style. On the D style. All right. Caught me a little off guard, but the D style got it done. Look at that, everybody. The D style got me one here. All right. Not the biggest. Not the biggest. But he took it. He wanted that little D style. He thought it was a dragonfly. And he went for it. All right. All right, everybody. Well, he's a little one. Not that big. All right. All right, everybody, this one here, not that big, but we got one, so we're all good with that. All right. There we go. Another one, another little one here. Look at that, everybody. These little ones, these little ones want that dragonfly, but it ain't the dragonfly, everybody. It is the D style. All right, it ain't the biggest fish. You can see, it ain't the biggest fish, but that's what they want. All right, there he is, everybody, on that D style. Oh, that's another one. Wow, you're making some movements here. Okay. All right. There he is. It's a little one, but they're hungry, and I'll take it. You know, I'll take that right now. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right in the water. In the D style. Does it again. All right. The D style does it again. The D style does it again here. We get this one. He was a slow bite, but we got him. All right, here we go again. We got another one right here. It was a slow bite out there, but you saw him. We nailed him. All right, gonna keep going. Uh oh, I think they're breaking on the water. We gotta go. All right. There we go. Sucked it under. There we go. Sucked it under, folks. Barely felt that one. They are on it. And I think I know why. Because that D-style, as you can see, right there, that D-style looks just like a dragonfly. That's why they're on it so hard. All right. Like I said, not the biggest, but we catching them. 
We are catching them. Hey everybody, it's Top Water Johnny here. Just want to say thank you so much for watching this video here. As you saw in this video, we were doing some things here with the D-Style Reserve Top Water Lure. And one of the things I wanted to share with everybody was that in this particular lure, I think what was really getting them fired up was the fact that there are dragonflies out here, things kind of insects coasting near the surface of the water, and that D-Style has that look and that feel to it. Let me... Um, Okay, let me, as you can see, it has that, it has those eyes right there. It has those wings that go back and forth, as you saw on the water. So it gives a really good look like a fleeing insect or a dragonfly. So this lure really was great today. I had a lot of fun fishing with it. And just like always, I want to tell everybody out there, you got to match the hatch. You got to kind of match what they're foraging for. Because if you do, then you'll start to get those strikes and get those fish in the boat or on the bank. And as you can see, look at that behind me right there. Nothing will stop me from doing top water. And I'm throwing probably over eight or nine feet right there just to get over that growth, just to get to the water, just to throw top water. So I'm throwing as far as I can and I'm risking the lure at the same time. And all the lures that I throw, as you can already see, they're a little bit on the higher end, nine, 10, $20. So I'm willing to take the chance because that top water is priceless. And then also, as you can see, the fish I'm catching aren't the biggest fish, but they're top water fish. And that's what makes them fun to catch because they bit it on top water. So I just wanted to, you know, just remind you out here that sometimes you got to have the right equipment. Sometimes you got to have the right lure to get to where you need to be to get them to strike. And so sometimes making an investment in a little bit more expensive lure might make the difference when you're fishing. Not saying you got to do it all the time like top water Johnny. But I'm saying sometimes those little bit more pricey lures create the effect that you really need on the water to get the bite. So anyway, please like, subscribe to the channel, and always remember that phrase. Keep your line tight, because when they hit those top water lures, it's going to be a big bite. All right.